Hello friends, Big Stupid Green here, back with some more Approaching Storm, where we're taking Joe Diamond through the mythos of that campaign. Today we're going to be uh, researching the Obsidian Parrot in the third scenario called Curiosities. Um, but first, let's take a look. Um, here's our story assets. We have Parrot, of course. We have uh, Armitage. And we have Regis and Butterbirch, the manservant. But also we have some upgrades. Thanks to our shrewd analysis and us uh, identifying the solution in the first scenario, we now get to grab uh, two of these, uh, or two copies of these at random. We have the evasion, the fighting variant, the healing variant, and one that will give us some resources and cards. So without any further ado, let's see what we get. Let's see, number three, that's the healing variant. And number four, the resource variant. Yeah, very interesting. Let's put that in our deck as well. And we'll shuffle our hunches just because I like to shuffle the hunches. Let's go ahead and read the scenario. Scenario three, curiosities. For days, you pore over the books and pieces of the manuscript as Armitage and his contacts at City Hall try to ta track down the company owning the Kaiser Wilhelm. You translate, double-check, and cross-reference everything with sources from the university library, Dr. Armitage's many friends among the academia, and still you are a only able to make the most minuscule progress. A week passes without any news before Armitage suggests you try a different approach. Let the scholars at the university keep at it, while you direct your attention to the statue of the parrot. There just might be a place in Arkham where such an item can be scrutinized. You accompany Armitage to Northside, in a small two-story building with an old, weather-beaten sign above the shop front which reads, Curiosity Shop. The proprietor, a Mr. Thomas, is a man much learned about the items of the mysterious and occult, Armitage explains. With the proper incitement, I'm sure he can help. Next to the door is a billboard with all manner of strange advertisements on display. One in particular catches your eyes as you approach. It is about a play coming to Arkham for a special one night only performance at the Ward Theater. Perhaps that would be something more down to earth you could do to relax if you ever managed to solve the mystery at hand. Turning your focus back to the present, you realize something is amiss. The shop is dark and the door locked. You carefully look around before starting, deciding on how to proceed. Hmm, wonder if that play involves a certain king in yellow. Anyway, let's take a look at the agenda and act decks. Uh, here's the scenario card. Looks like we're going to be dealing with uh, criminals in this situation. And if we have the parrot, the rock is uh, actually positive for us instead of negative. That's interesting to make sure we're on standard. Act 1A, an abandoned shop. We have to get inside and find out what is amiss, Armitage implores. Can't you just break down the door, or perhaps there's another way in? When an investigator enters a shop location, advance. Then we have Agenda 1A, the curiosity shop. The shop closed at this hour, something must be amiss. That has a threshold of 4. We have quite a beefy encounter deck this time. And... We are back here in the main road. We have the curiosity shop, which we can't enter. We have a side road. We have the alley. We have a back office, which we also can't enter. And the second story. And it looks like the back office and the shop, of course, will count as our shop locations here. So that's how we're going to advance in the act deck. Let's go ahead and draw our opening hand. Okay, we've got a weapon, we've got a beat cop, uh, we got a couple of weapons there. Uh, probably don't need dodge immediately. Um, the 1911s are better than the 49 automatic, so I'll probably use that. Um, and then take the initiative. Um, Again, I like to take really strong skill cards if we just have one. I think it'll be okay. 
Um, we already have an asset and a weapon, so it's not too much that we need. I need to actually... What am I doing here? We mug in this way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jump those up, get rid of those unsightly resources. Let's see what our hunch deck has to say. Uh, scene of the crime. Okay. And then we start here in the main road. Um, let's go ahead and... It requires a clue. We can test strength forward to break into the shop. If successful, move to the curiosity shop location. Or we could resign and make this a very short video. But I think we are going to... Since we have take the initiative, we're going to try this test. Because um, we'll be plus three. I think I'll just be plus three here. And a plus zero. It says we get to move to the curiosity shop. And the lights should be on and the door unlocked during business hours. Okay, let's go ahead and flip the act deck over. You enter the premises of the curiosity shop carefully. If someone is here, you'd rather it be you who get the jump on them than the other way around. In Act 2A, what happened here? The inside of the curiosity shop is in disarray. Books, paintings, and all manner of obscure items litter the floor. Someone has been looking for something. Perhaps they still are. We need four clues per investigator for that, so we need four. That's our first action. And let's grab a... Actually, we need to look here. Um, you search through the many works littering the makeshift of bookcases and shelves, noticing works like Polaris, The Truth of Dragon, or I'm sorry, The Truth of Dagon, and The Curse of Yig, but nothing about the statue you came here to inquire about. That contains a clue. So we need four clues, and we don't, do we have to be anywhere? We don't have to be at the shop itself. So that's interesting. I'm going to take a resource and then I think I'm going to play, um, play the 1911s. We can't, yeah, we can't play that this turn. So we'll play the 1911s. Have some protection. And that'll be our turn. Let's flip these over. Grab a card and a resource. This goes back into our punches deck. And let's see what this encounter deck has in store for us. Trinkets galore. The first time to perform one of the following actions, move, jar, investigate each round. It costs one additional action at the end of your turn. Test intellect three. If you succeed, discard trinkets galore. So it's an intellect version of frozen in fear, which is um, nice for us. A nice coincidence anyway. Um, let's go ahead and see what our hunch is. It's so logical reasoning. We can't really use that because we don't have a clue, but that's okay. Um, let's let's go ahead and try to grab this clue. I think. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Um, again, we have to take the initiative. That works for me. Okay, and plus one, so we definitely got that clue. That took two of our actions, um, and we're just going to keep moving, I think. Um, we can't go here, so we'll just go here to the main road. All right, that's our turn. This goes away. We draw a vicious blow, gain a resource. Oh, we need to test this, of course. Okay, oh, we got rid of it. Could have been pesky. Um, let's take a Doom and see what our next encounter deck is going to do. Uh, encounter card is going to do. Rotted Remains, test willpower 3 for each point you fail by take a horror. Um, that's what I get for using the uh, 
take the initiatives offensively rather than defensively. But that's okay, it's the beginning of the scenario. Um, I kind of want to keep cards in my hand to power up higher education someday, so I'll just take it at minus one. Okay, that's not bad. I'll just take a horror. Very, very good uh, Chaos Bag luck, I will say. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to draw a card to get to higher ed. Ooh. We may just want to play this instead. Alright, so... Plus one while investigating, so we're a four, we're a five. Five against three. Um, how bad is this Chaos Bag? Um... So minus X, so the skull would be a loss. So we have one loss. Um, one minus three, one minus four, two skulls. That's four with the, um, the tentacle. That's five. Five out of sixteen is um, close to a one third chance of failing. Um, if we just um, research as is. Uh, we could easily just grab a card and play, now be playing with higher education, but I think I'd rather have just two shots at this, so see what we get. Minus one, we get the clue. Okay, and next, um, we can keep moving. We don't have an alley out, so I feel kind of bad about that. Um, we totally forgot our hunch. That wouldn't have changed anything, but still, that's a good start to the uh, scenario. <laughs> uh, I gotta remember my hunches. Anyway, if I use this button, which you can change the different state of everything, I would consider maybe uh, writing hunches there, but <clears throat> I really don't look at that. But my bad. Uh, one more action so we can move. We can grab a resource to maybe put down BCOM next turn. Uh, then we'll be very well set up for any uh, any enemies. So, yeah, I guess I'll do that. We're going pretty quickly through the scenario. It's going to flip next turn. I feel like we're going really fast. So I'll use some of that tempo to uh, grab a resource. So, anyways, let's see the upkeep. Ooh, strange solution. What's this one? The healing variant. Okay. Also gives us two willpower icons, which is not bad, considering who we're playing as. And rats. Ah, well, we don't need to, uh, uh, we don't need a bee cup to be rats, but let's go ahead and see what our hunch is. Scene of the crime. I can't use that. Alright, let's smash the rats. Um, I don't have any insight events, so I can't utilize that elder sign, but it's better than uh, drawing the auto fail. Let's go to the side road. It has two clues, uh, a flat two clues, so it doesn't scale up or down with investigators. And three shroud, so as it is we can use um, higher ed. We probably should. So I'm at four, I'm at five, um, I'm plus two, let's make it plus four, and investigate. Alright, minus one, grab the clue. Totally didn't get the beat cop out, that's what I was saying, but um, oh well. <laughs> I have a chance to get it out next turn if I want to. Um, this hunch goes away. We'll draw a card. In resource, emergency cash is almost always welcome. But what's not welcome is we're going to have to flip this over and see what bad things happen. <clears throat> you hear the sound of someone entering the shop. If there are one to two investigators in the game, search the encounter discard pile or encounter deck for one relentless thug enemy and spawn it at the Curiosity Shop location. 
So if there are three or four investigators, we get two out. And then we just shuffle the encounter deck, uh, discard into the encounter deck. So um, that was a relentless thug enemy. Um, search for one of them. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's one of these guys. Looks like the game hasn't quite loaded yet. Um, we'll just flip that over for a second. Give it some time. That's probably what it is. Um, let's see. May load, may not. Maybe if I draw the bunch. We're going to shuffle the deck in anyway. I want to see if that helps. So we can draw. I won't look at the... Uh, oh, that's the relevant slug. Okay. Alright, so that guy goes to the curiosity shop. Um, I don't know what that other card was. This gets shuffled in. Weird. Hopefully we can still use the deck. We'll see. Maybe it loads in because it drew it off the encounter deck. Where I record, I don't have the greatest internet connection in the world. Or Wi-Fi connection in the world, so maybe that's a problem. Um, so he spawned at the curiosity shop. He's a hunter. Um, other than that, he's pretty uh, pretty vanilla. And then, what are they looking for? Could these hoodlums be here for the same reason as you? Better make sure they don't succeed with whatever they are doing. So we got a threshold of six now. Let's see what we get. Well, a relentless thug. So let's take care of that guy. Um, Beat cop would have helped, but that's okay. Uh, we use one of these. We look at the hunch deck. All right, logical reason again, not that impactful. Um, all right, three, three, and two. So Colt will put us to five. I'm gonna commit a vicious blow. So we're at four, five, six. And if we win, we kill him. Do I want to commit anything else? Some plus three. Yeah, four, five, six. Let's be plus four, I think. Plus four takes one token out. I don't think anything else. Plus four, that's one out of 16. Should probably, in that case, not ditch physical training. I don't know. It's really important because I'm committing a, a vicious blow here. All right, that's just minus one. So used um, a bit more firepower than we needed to, but that's okay. This does do extra damage. Yep. We don't have any insights to shuffle in there, unfortunately. All right, so now we can go back to business of um, investigating, but first I'm going to get my beat cop out. And actually, um, we could either grab the clue, play emergency cash, get our resources up. We are plus two naturally, which is okay. There's nothing really bad if we fail. Um, none of those tokens punish us for failing. Um, would be nice to get to the next act, but you never know if the next act is going to hurt you if you spawn it up, but that doesn't really... Um, I think I'm just going to play Mervis. Actually, I don't have any resources. I can't play this one. Let's play Emergency Cash. We call it. So this guy gets the move. We will shuffle this back in, draw a card, grab a resource. The other strange solution, the gain two resources and draw a card version. And let's add a doom and draw a card. 
Relentless Thug. All right, it is relentless. Um, what's our hunch? Scene of the crime. Okay, we can actually use this. That's good. It's free. It's our first action. We get a clue. It's not provoke attacks of uh, opportunity, which is nice. Uh, do we want to shoot this guy twice? Probably. We can't really evade, so. Um, and that was our first action. So we're going to have to shoot, yeah, shoot this guy twice and then have to deal with the other one next time. Alright, so if we shoot, we're at 4, we're at 5, we're at 6 against 3. Okay, that's 2 damage. Uh -oh, you have 2 HP up. Shoot again. Okay, and that's a hit too, so. He's gone. That's my turn. He is going to find me, and I will take 2 damage. So. I need to be cop and myself will take the damage. He's over. Take a resource and burn. Okay. Flashlight will be helpful. Um, let's go ahead and add a Doom draw card. Rotting remains, test willpower 3. One card away from being able to help myself, but. Hopefully we just don't get a really bad card. Okay, that's minus one. So we lose by two. So B cop again is gonna help us out. And we need to take care of this guy. So unfortunately. Okay, we have one more ammo, so probably kill him with two shots. Or one shot and um and a regular punch or whatever. Okay. That is X. X is your shroud. That's minus three. I think we missed, don't we? Four, five, six. Oh no, we hit him. Could have been bad. Let's see. Yeah, he's just you know, that's the hunter. Just making sure he didn't have anything else. We could um, throw the beat cop at him if we wanted to. Hopefully we don't have to, though. So we're up by two without the gun. And if it defeats the enemy, okay. Uh, that's my three, that's a miss. Um, I can afford to take two damage. I'd rather not, but looks like... Uh, I don't have the option here. So there goes that. We're going to take two damage from the thug. Um, oh. That's how I like to do it. Anyway, let's uh, add a doom, but we do need to draw a card first. Evidence. Our encounter is attached to a dark location. Location gets plus two shroud. I don't know if we have any dark locations. Um, we haven't been there yet. Um, dark. Okay, dark right there. Does that have to be revealed? No. Okay, so this alley is going to get in the shadows, so plus two shroud. Alright. Alright, we still need to kill this guy. What's our hunch? No stone enter. Okay, we are plus two. Alright, he's gone now. We need to get a move on. Um, I could dig for another weapon, but... Actually, we're gonna spend our clues first. After we kill him, of course. Spend our clues, we have two actions to deal with whatever is about to show up. Okay. There are no sign of the perpetrator, but Armitage insists you need to find him, so you take another good look around. Wait, what was that? Armitage calls out. You listen carefully, and you, and you hear it too. 
There's a muffled sound coming from behind the wall in the back office. You pry the wooden boards aside to reveal a small space with the staircase leading both up and down. Put the set aside attic, cellar, and second story locations into play. Search the encounter discard pile and deck for a criminal enemy. Spawn it in the second story location. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay, so we need the set aside locations. There, the AB flipped over. Thank you. Let's see. What is this? Okay, that is. Not a location. <laughs> but it was there. Uh, put it back in the bag, actually. Okay, good. So, we need the attic, cellar, and second story locations. Okay, so we have the second story already. Maybe we shouldn't have put those into play immediately. Oh well, uh, we didn't move there at least. Um, what is this located to? Get to the second story. The cellar is located to the triangle, which is back office. Looks like we're going to need to get into that back office, aren't we? For that, we're going to need to go to the alley. So, what's our next objective? Mr. Thomas is worth this much trouble for whoever you are up against. You have to make sure you get a chance to talk to him. Also, they're clearly looking for something. Perhaps there's more to be found than just the perpetrator. If each undefeated investigator has resigned and one of them is in control of Oliver Thomas, advance. All right. And we need a criminal enemy. Uh, let's see if there's something a little bit easier than those um, relentless thugs. Uh, a banyan thug, that and a monster, mobster. We're gonna be shuffling this, so I want to see if I can get some of those images to spawn in for me here. Uh, it's so weird. Hunt it down. I don't know if these are new cards or if they are. Like a banyan slug is not a new card. I could probably find them in other scenario campaigns. Um, okay, so drawing this isn't going to help. Um, let's. Let's see what these are supposed to be and try to find them, I guess. Um, let me go on ArkhamDB for a second. Okay, so we're missing Naomi's crew for some reason. I think that's the, um, the pack that we're missing here. Um, it's probably in the house always wins, I'd imagine. So let's set aside all the cards that haven't spawned in yet. So hunted down, banning slug, hunted down. Anything else that they don't want to spawn for me here? Let's see. Banyan Thug. Okay, that looks to be it. So, Banyan Thug. Down a mobster, a mobster. So, two Hunted Downs, two mobsters, two Banyan Thugs. Two abandoned slugs, two mobsters, and two copies of Hunted Down. Alright. 
That is uh, really weird, but I think we saved it. Put these all together. I'm going to take, of course, a monster because they were easier. And I'm going to shuffle that back in here. Because we needed to shuffle the encounter to scope out the encounter deck. Spawn that guy. Where do we need that guy? We need that guy in the second story. Alright. So he's right there. Um, we need to find Oliver Thomas and resign. We can resign at the main road. Yep. So let's keep going. Um, so we have a couple more options now. We need to get... Well, our main objective now is to get into the back office via the alley. Um, we could use some healing. How much time do we want to waste? We can get healing, we can get a weapon. Would be nice. Um, yeah, we've got 45s in there ready to go if we need them. Uh, we could keep our resources and just dynamite if we have to. It's never ideal, but if we have the resources, well, sure, why not? Um, we could play. We play some strange solutions and get some help there. Um, we don't need healing yet, but we might. We're going to be fighting a lot of criminals. We could go up here and see what it gives us. Let's do that. And flip that over. Alright. Test agility for it. Pick the lock on the back door leading to the curiosity shop. If successful, move to the back office location. Um, is that the only way we can get to the back office location? Yes. That means... Is there a plus two in the bag? Yep. Alright. Um... I'm going to have to find some agility icons in my deck. We wasted our, um, or take the initiatives for other tests. So, we'll see. Okay. Um, let's take the turn then to play no stone then turn, I guess. It's free, but it is in action. Um, let's see. Take one of these three. Uh, Butterbirch has hard. Um, yeah, Butterbirch is the only person with an agility icon, so we'll take him. Oh, I get to look at the top six, don't I? So, draw that guy back in. Yep. Draw three more. Okay. Unexpected Courage gives us two. Yeah, that's going to be our best bet here. Okay. So, we're going to need to um, draw some more icons. We got another Unexpected Courage. I think one of our 45s has an agility icon if I'm remembering correctly for resource um, this guy's not a hunter so we just need to uh, doom and move on must search the discard pile for creature or encounter a discard pile for a creature and spawn it or take it to director if there are no creature in the encounter discard pile or no other let's get and play test uh, willpower 3 so we have to test willpower 3 Okay, uh, we can do that with uh, this resource, so... Right, minus one, plus one, plus three. It's a shroud, isn't it? Yep. So we take a horror, unfortunately. Alright, um, our new hunch... Working hunch. Naturally. Might be okay to grab a clue right now. Uh, just in case. Um, 
I can use logical reasoning. Maybe I need clues at one of the other act decks. Actually, I don't have any more act decks, so maybe I have to spend clues to get stuff. Anyway, let's, um, let's draw a card. Oh, good. Armitage is wild. Okay, so now we have four agility icons in here. Plus two would be plus two against this door. I kind of want to be plus three. We've got eight cards in hand. But if we don't move now, we could get bogged down by enemies. And we're losing precious turns here. Let's try it. Yeah, that'll be plus two. Trying to pick the lock. Oops. Minus two. Okay, good. I don't know why it double clicked for me. I thought I saw the elder sign. I don't know. I swear I'm not cheating. Anyway, we picked the lock. We're successful. We get to move to the back office. And it just has two clues here. We have a lot of clues. Um, then second story looks like that's just available for us whenever we want. Um, let's get set up again. I think I would like the healing uh, variant of this solution. So we drew a card. We picked the lock. And this will be two. All right, be our last move. Um, let's draw a card, a resource. 45 is much welcome, very, very welcome. Five, let's see what this brings us. I think it's Galore, okay, we've seen that. It's the Frozen in Fear. I'm going to play the automatic, and we'll just replace this. What's our hunch? Okay, logical reasoning. Does that work on this? Treachery? No, it's a tarot card. Could use it to heal some horror, which is actually a pretty good idea. I'm still going to do this. Uh, I think I'll play this for free then, because it's in my hunch deck. And then, I don't want to go up there as my last action. That just asks to do that. Although, move, draw, investigate. I haven't done any of those yet. We could use the solution. Yeah, let's just use the solution. Heal two from us here. Okay, and then we will test this. Um, investigate three. Maybe plus three. Minus one. Okay. That's gone. Drop a card, gain resource. And this is going to roll over now. Yep. Whatever these gangsters are after, they aren't appreciating your presence. <coughs> Search the encounter, discard pile, and encounter deck for as many relentless thug enemies as there are with investigators, there are investigators. Spawn one, engage with each investigator. So let's find a thug. Um, there he is. He goes directly on me. That's why you get the gun out. I think I have four resources to put on him too. All right, what else? If there are not enough relentless thug enemies, we look for um, criminal enemies and spawn them, and then shuffle the encounter to script pile. And then showdown, they're relentless, so I'll give them that. We have eight turns. And our favorite card, Trinkets Galore, all right. Well, we gotta fight this guy. Pretty much nothing stopping, uh, nothing we can deal with that. Let's um, see the hunch first, though. A shortcut, that's nice. 
Alright, fight this guy. Four, five, six versus three. That's two. Uh, that's two actions because of this. Um, if I had more resources, I would consider just be copying this. Be taking the uh, I'm taking the win there. I still might because I have evidence. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we need clues though, because I have not seen this scenario yet. Would conserve ammo, but we'd lose the beat cop. And we'd have to find time to play him again. Let's just fight him. With let's shoot him with the gun. Shroud. I think that's a miss, isn't it? Um, three minus three. I think we're plus three. Four, five, six against three. Okay, so he dies. Take those away. Then we need to test uh, intellect three again. B plus one or B plus three. Oh wait, do I want to play evidence? Mm, I don't think I will. Anyway, we'll test um, intellect three. And evidence might be good to pitch for symbols in this case, or the strange solution. Though I might be playing that soon or reloading. Um, I haven't used a lot of my hunches yet, so I'm kind of... I think I'm going to pitch this for card, for symbols. So, it's a 3, or a 4, 5, 6, or plus 3. And that is minus 2, so we do get rid of it. Let's grab a resource and a card. Okay, the other 45, good to know where it's at. Shuffle our unused hunch. And this goes back to one. Let's see what we get. Frozen. er, uh, frozen fear. Distant voices. Excuse me. <coughs> Tickle. In my throat. Distant voices. Put distant voices into play in your threat area. You cannot play assets or events at the end of the round. Discard. Fair enough. Um, let's keep moving. To the second story. It's the living quarters for Mr. Thomas. Just has one clue. I wonder what all, all of these clues are for. Maybe if you're playing with more investigators. You do need, like, one of these axes pretty heavy in clues, but... Here's our mobster friend. Retaliate, and if he hits you, lose a resource. Okay. Well, let's get to this then. We're plus four. And, yep. Yeah, easy enough. And I think I'm going to use. Okay, so we can go in here. We know it's going to have. It's probably going to have our, uh, our friend. Mr. Thomas here. Oliver Thomas. Is he going to be engaged with a criminal? With one ammo in case he's engaged with that criminal. But I think we're okay. I don't want to stall. As much. The other option is to play a uh, strange solution, the one with all of the resources. Get a bunch of resources and have the opportunity to dynamite anything really bad that comes out. Uh, we have plenty of time. We have one at seven. Of course, I can't play assets this turn, so that makes that worse. What was our hunch? Scene of the crime. Okay. Not relevant, even though I forgot to uh, flip it over. Um, yeah, so if we can't play anything, let's just go. Yeah. See if that's good or not. All right, three clues. Before we look at anything else, just spawn the clues. When 
revealing attic. Test willpower 10. All right. If you fail, put the set aside mysterious book weakness into play in your threat area and add it to your deck for the remainder of campaign. This card does not count toward your deck size. Did I miss where Mr. Thomas needs to be? I'm not sure. Let's take this ridiculous test. Yeah, we missed. Okay, where is oh, one of our cards? We're flipping out there. Let's grab our book. Um, put it in our threat area. Okay, so what does this book do? Put it into play with three resources on it. Cannot leave play. Move one resource from the book to the token bank. If there are any resources on a mysterious book at the end of a scenario. Reduce the number of experience points you earn from that scenario by the number of resources on the book. Okay. Fair enough. Where do I get Mr. Thomas, though? Um, did we need to spawn Mr. Thomas somewhere? Let's, there we go. Move this up a little bit. Oliver Thomas, well, it's the attic seller. All the locations play. Everybody starts at the main road. Um, let's see. I'm missing something. Okay. Is one of these locations spawning? We haven't been to the cellar. Oh. You cannot enter the cellar until all other locations are revealed. Okay, that's what I'm missing. So yeah, we didn't miss anything, we just need to go back to the cellar. Okay, fair enough. So that's our turn. Discard that. Um, we didn't need to see the crime. I was stressed out there, I thought I uh, ruined a, a playthrough there. Um, so we got six turns. Out uh, there, another investigate your equation. There is no other location. Okay. Um, Will power five. If you fail, discard a non story asset. How much do we care about certain things? Um, I could stand to lose the magnifying glass. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna fight this one. And an auto fail. So, good thing I didn't. Let's see what our hunch is. See the crime. Okay, so we need to get to the cellar. But we also need to deal with this. I'm very tempted. Oh, limited once per turn. Okay, I can't just get rid of it all immediately. Let's start getting rid of chargers, though. I would like experience. Uh, we're gonna move here. Do I want to... Gosh, how much setup time do I think I can be allowed to get? I do think if I load up with um, Strange Solution Chargers, I might be fine. I, I feel like I have a lot of time. That might be wrong, but if we come in with a ton of resources, we can probably just hire Ed anything that might be an issue, so... Again, we're going to take it slow. Might be a good idea, might not. Shuffle that hunch back in. Of course, every turn... You can say this about any deck, but every turn we stay alive, the more opportunities for the weaknesses to come out. 
But we're going to get the uh, parrot there. And let's see what card we draw. Thug. Okay. Can't gain resources while he is on us. Let's go ahead and uh, fight this guy. Uh, see what our hunch is first. See what we crime. Okay. Shoot this guy. Um, for plus two as it is. I am incentivized to be plus three. Um, what's our threshold? Three, okay. Oh. Womp womp. Let's fight him again at plus one. be plus two. If we can be plus two, we can discard B cop and kill him. Be plus two. Oh, okay, good thing I did. Alright, he takes damage. We will get rid of B cop here to deal the final damage. Okay. He's gone, that was scary. Um, that's our turn. This goes back into our hunch deck. Draw a card, gain a resource. Dodge is nice. Turns are starting to pile up now. We have four. And we got rats. We got a lot of distractions. Alright, let's punch these guys. This, uh, this rat with plus three. Okay, just barely got away with that, too. Um, we're here. Let's go to the back office. Um, let's use this version of the strange solution. Not the. There we go. Gain two resources and draw a card. Oh, what was our hunch? Again, seeing the crime we don't need. About half the time I remember my hunches. <laughs> you don't need to write here, remember hunches. Anyway, draw a card, grab a resource. Aw, oh, it's a non taboo destroyed uh, machete. Let's, um, three turns away. Rotting remains, okay. Um, we don't have too much horror on us. I want to keep resources. I need resources um, around, so let's just take this. And okay, that's minus two, so we take three horror. Pretty costly. But let's get another gun out. And then I'm going to go in here. Okay. And the seller's real to spawn the set aside Oliver Thomas asset in the cellar. Okay. Place X resource tokens on the token bank on him. X is the number of investigators in the game. And that is one. If Oliver Thomas has one or more resource tokens on him, test fight or Agility X. X is a shroud value of the seller. If successful, move one resource token from him. Okay. And then, yeah, we get him if we uh, are able to pass that test. It has um, four clues. It has victory four. So, you know, you can go nuts and try to get a victory point off that card. Um, so we moved. I think that's all we did. But no, we played the gun. That's our second action. Our hunch, we'll see the crime. I think I'm shuffling that. Maybe I'm not. No. Uh, we need to get him now. We're even. We're plus one. We're plus three. Okay, minus three. So, yeah. <clears throat> 
we will take that resource. Maybe we slapped some sense into him or something. Or, I don't know. You can decide what we did there. <laughs> we take control of Oliver Thomas. So that was our action. If he leaves play, each investigator takes one direct horror. Okay, let's not let him leave play then. Um, upkeep. Okay. Nice to be at five cards. Or higher education, just in case we get another willpower check. Um, make sure we give that a good shuffle. Okay. Six out of eight. Hunted down, there are no criminal enemies. This game's just getting surge. Rats. Lovely. How many turns do we need to get out of here? Um, we have to get here, don't we? Okay, we have two rounds to do it. Alright, let's fight this guy. Um, we're plus three. Overpower seems to be kind of a overkill. So, plus three. That's minus one, So we're good. And then we can go here, and then here. What was our hunch, you say? It's working a hunch. Okay, nothing bad. Keep expecting to draw that weakness. Alright, so that's our turn. Draw a card. In resource. One round left. And the thug. Okay. Um, what's our next hunch? Breaking a hunch. So actually we can win right now. Um, we can move, take his attack of opportunity, dodge it, and just resign. Um, I think that's the only real, um, it's the only real uh, option we have. So, yeah, we could. Yeah, we only have one round. I can't mess around. Let's go ahead and go here and then resign. We'll play dodge so we don't get hit. Not that it matters because we can tank it anyway. And that's it. We have escaped with Oliver Thomas. Let's go ahead and read our resolution. That would be advance. This card. Oh, some of these cards disappear in this particular mod. Do you push Mr. Thomas out into the street in front of his shop and into the shop across the street? Resolution 1. Yep. Okay. Resolution 1. As you get outside, you hear police whistles heading your way. Someone else must have noticed that something was wrong and contacted the authorities. Mr. Thomas explains the situation to the officers, and once the last of the criminals have been taken away, he invites you to join him inside. He listens to your story and examines the parrot statue with a keen interest. He vanishes into the back before returning a few minutes later with an old book. Eagerly, he flicks through it until he finds an image of a man hovering in the air with wisps of clouds surrounding him. This is Baal, he explains, an ancient Babylonian deity, or at least that's how they perceived him. Legend has it, when he was banished long ago, a statue of the darkest obsidian was made to hold the last essence of him in our world, and as long as it resides in our world, the ancient one has a foothold here and will forever try to regain entry. Perhaps this statue of yours holds the essence of Baal. And then, in our campaign log, record that you saved Oliver Thomas. We are in experience equal, equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns two bonus experience. 
points for hearing or learning what Mr. Thomas had to say. Based on your difficulty level, add the following chaos token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. We get a minus three and a minus four added. So that's gonna be rough. Um, looking at experience, I actually think we get zero, right? Um, yep. We got two experience. We gave up two experience with the book. I don't think there's any victory points we got here. Um, no. Yeah, we didn't get the victory point locations. We didn't kill anything that would have gone on victory display. So, we got no experience, but we got out with Mr. Thomas. Uh, and we get to continue on. So, next time, let's see what our next um, scenario is called. Shadow Rails. So, next time we will see Shadow Rails. Hope you enjoyed your time here. And as always, until next time, have a good one.